hello hello everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you are watching this video from and anytime where you go come across this video how are you all doing today uh happy sunday to all of you so my correct correct people as we had allegedly remember and so now we they carry come me to nafuna domot so according to alleged information rationals we've heard allegedly that uh uh olobi elizabeth that Olori Elizabeth is not happy with Kabi AC. Yes, so my correct, correct people, that she's not happy at all, at all, at all. It happened that she was not uh, uh, present during the Olojo festival. Yeah, she was not present at all, at all. For these few days now, she she's not seen, she was not seen anywhere. So, and Kabi AC, you know, the two most important women in, in Kabi AC's life, we are not there, and others, the if our wives, we are there. So, Kabi AC, you know, he was, he's not this type that once something is bothering him, he will keep quiet or keep it to himself. No, he they always like to voice out. So, Kabi AC was now voicing out and saying that, look at, that why will all of Elizabeth not be present during the Olojo festival? That this is not right, that the two most important women in his life, that the both of them we are not around during the Olojo festival. That's what is he now going to do? Is he now going to fall in the hands of the enemy? I'll be there. They were supposed to be there so as to save him from falling into the hands of the enemy. Hmm. This particular announcement, self, as as Kabiesi was talking about this with a fellow, uh, with a, a fellow a chief, we heard that some people around we are like, you don't even know what you want. That he in fact they were like you see that a lot of people were mad with the announcement Kabi AC made over praising the Olori saying that they saved him or something like that. So people around we are now like you don't even know what you what you want. They were like the same way you praise these women uh, on uh, right uh, before the camera that they needed to bring camera so that you start by you know saying that the two most important women in your life that they didn't attend the Olojo festival so that people can understand better whom you are and all of those stuff so my correct correct people kbsu was mad that uh, all of elizabeth was not present during the Olojo festival and when this news got to Olori elizabeth Olori elizabeth was not happy at all at all in fact she tried her best not to use a hurtful word on kbsu she really tried her best because she was like no she never expected kbsu to be this mean that she never that uh, uh, that kbsu knew what was holding her that's why will Kabi AC be saying such thing in, in the presence of so many people? In fact, she was furious, so she was mad. She was not happy at all, at all, at all. So it happened that a lot of people were saying that, eh, she, maybe she'd already carry Bele again, or maybe she's pregnant or something, and uh, because of that, she decided to, you know, not to come into the palace of Ife. Others were saying that it might be because of the miscarriage that she just had, that Kabi AC is a human being. He should understand that a woman that just lost a baby uh, is not that happy. Uh -huh. And uh, what will she come there to do, knowing fully well that she was once pregnant with uh, Olobi, Olobi Tobi, Olobi Ash, Actually, and now they are carrying their own bundles of joy and she she's not carrying hers that is not going to be she's not going to be happy that can be a no go expect her may she be happy that why will be saying something like that to her in fact we heard that all of the elizabeth self she was not happy she was not and her own self one thing about her is that she's this type that she know they hide herself she know they hide her feelings once she's not happy you around her will know that she's not happy that's just her life as we heard allegedly so she sent to kabi ac immediately telling kabi ac how disappointed she was when she got the message that kabi ac was looking for her during the Olojo festival and she was like uh -uh, is it that kabi ac will just like want to talk or something that she told Kabiesi, she specifically called Kabiesi before he went into seclusion to tell him that CEO, something like this came up and all of those stuff, I will not be uh, present during the Olojo festival. So she was now like, why will Kabiesi now be coming to the public to be, you know, announcing it and uh, be asking people, be telling people uh, uh, about it so that it will now look as if Queen Naomi and uh, all of Elizabeth is the bad people there. We are at Kabi AC self, where then they expect make Kabi AC know what he wanted. They were expecting that by now, Kabi AC for though already know say na the uh, uh, na queen Naomi na na in want inside the palace. They were not even expecting him to still be in love with the Oloris. Yes, but Kabi AC did what he announced that they saved him. 
and that is <laughs> is one of the in fact a lot of people that are there it is their major anger they were not happy at all they were not happy with such uh, uh such announcements they were not happy but you know now you got to respect the king so my correct correct people uh all of the elizabeth according to what we heard she was like if she doesn't know kbs she will say that kbs is really wicked and mean that why would kbs be saying such in, in the presence of a lot of people knowing fully well that uh, she would have been there if not that something is like as in something hooked her up or something like that as well queen naomi would, would have been there i think last year's so Elijah festival queen naomi was there Upon the other is we are there, but Queen Naomi made made out time to be there as well. She came, she visited, and she left as well. So Olojo Festival is a festival for all. They are not doing it because you are Kabiesi's wife, you are not supposed to come or something. Yes. So this year's own might really be that Queen Naomi was upset or something, or it, in fact, Kabiesi is not supposed to come out and even tell somebody that Queen Naomi was not there and all of Elizabeth was not there because he knew that he caused what made them not to be there. Okay, assuming now that Queen Naomi was preparing to come and he, she went online to you know uh, do some stuffing or something, and now saw when Kabiesi was praising uh, the Olovis, how do you think she will feel? You are coming to me telling me that, oh, you love me. You can't wait to chase the Olovis out of the palace and bring me home. Yet, you are going in the public, in the uh, presence of all of those people that you are telling how much you love Queen Naomi. You still went to them to tell them that, oh, you love the Olovis. They helped you. They did this. Ah, now. Queen Naomi is a human being. Yes, she's a human being. And one thing, again, you got to know is that love is jealous. Yes, love is jealous. That's just one thing. So my correct correct people, all of it, Elizabeth, she didn't hide her own. No. She voiced it out immediately. She voiced, she didn't even keep it for KBAC. She voiced it out, telling KBAC that she was super, super disappointed with the way where KBAC take, you know, handle the matter and the way we intake the lament they give to people that are around, telling them that, oh, okay, Naomi and all of it, Elizabeth was not around during the Ologio Festival. So all of it, Elizabeth was like, he, she doesn't even know what she's still doing in the palace. That God knows that her aim for coming into the palace is to bring Queen Naomi and Kabiesi together and not for them to scatter forever. That she never had such intentions. So now, my correct, correct people, even all of Elizabeth said, people don't leave her more. Ah, they were bashing her. They were like, you want Queen Naomi and Kabiesi uh, togetherness, yet you are allowing yourself to get pregnant for Kabiesi. That, that she should have, you know, kept herself, knowing fully well that she was not there for marriage or anything. But this one, she still wants to have something to do with KBAC. She still wants to hold something uh, uh, for KBAC. I'll be waiting. So they were not happy. And now, all of Elizabeth as well, uh, she was not happy at all. She was not happy with the way, way KBAC takes the lament they give to people that know uh, all of Elizabeth and Queen Naomi. And they were the ones that got the, brought the information to all of Elizabeth and equally to Queen Naomi. Because they were like, what is happening to KBAC? Why will KBAC come out and announce this and go in to announce another thing? So we don't know. We don't know at this point. We don't really know. A lot of people are saying that jazz is inclusive, that the Olobis might have gone to a very far away land to get jazz that will make KBAC to praise them during the Olojo festival. Anyway, oh, my correct, correct people, one thing for sure is that it's only God that knows what happened. God, now God, now you know, now you sabi everything. We, we don't know anything. It's God that knows all of these things. Yes. So, my country people, that was it as we heard allegedly. Uh, we saw on the internet space and uh, we decided to bring to you. So, what do you think that might have been the reason why Olobi Elizabeth didn't show up? Is it because of her pregnancy or because of the pregnancy that she lost? Yeah, a lot of people are saying that she might, but all these are assumptions you get. They were assuming that it might be because maybe she lost a baby before. Yeah, because of the baby she lost before, that that might be the reason why she didn't come. Then others were saying that maybe she's pregnant currently and that will, you know, be another reason why she didn't come or she had other tight schedules what do you really think let me know under the comment section i'll go see you now for my next upload bye bye thank you and god bless you yeah